hey guys you're welcome to my channel once again so it's makaris cakes here and in this video i'll teach you how to make a perfect waffle trust me guys this is my best recipe and i'm sure you all are gonna love it so sit back relax and enjoy this video to the end mm. Mm. this is so delicious <laughs> okay guys welcome back to my channel so this is the recipe for the waffle this is my flour the sugar and then there's the vegetable oil um, this is my eggs and my baking powder and of course my baking yeah sorry the other one is baking soda the other one is baking powder yeah so I'm gonna set all these ingredients aside and then bring in my mixing bowl I'm adding in my flour um, the next thing I'm going to add is my sugar please for the recipe please kindly check the description box below that's my salt baking soda or baking powder I some baking powder yeah so you need to mix all the dry ingredients together and this is my waffle maker so the thing is while you're busy make, um, making the waffle you can you have to um plug in your waffle maker like you need to heat it up okay so you need to mix all your dry ingredients together okay um waffle is a very simple um thing to make it's not difficult at all it's perfect for breakfast and perfect for dessert as well so this is the recipe i use to serve my customers if you're going to try this i want you to value it so much because this is the best I'm not a fan of waffle, but after tasting this particular one, I love it. So you need to mix all your wet ingredients together, which is which is the vegetable oil, your eggs, and of course your milk. You understand? So, so many people don't like waffle because of it's tasteless, but this one is delicious. It's not sugary. It just it just delicious, guys. So you mix all your wet ingredients together, and then um. You mix everything yes you can as well double this recipe i get questions on my videos whereby asking me can someone double the recipe yes you can actually double the recipe any recipe you're seeing on my youtube channel you can double it okay so same applies for this one so when you mix your wet ingredient very well that's my flavor you add in your flavor all your wet ingredients you have to mix everything separately in the bowl and as you can see the mixture is well mixed you need to mix it very very well it's very important so when you're done mixing the wet ingredient you add it into your dry ingredient okay so guys as you're watching this video if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so it's your own way of supporting me on this channel okay so like this video if you enjoy watching it and subscribe to my channel all right so when you're done uh, mixing the wet ingredient to the dry ingredient you need to give it a good enough mixing like mix it well you can see how smooth my butter is this is how you own because when it's smooth like this it's gonna come out fluffy soft and nice okay so that is it guys so the next thing i'm gonna do is set it aside and then bring in my waffle maker make sure that it's already well heat up because if it's not heat up trust me guys your waffle will not come out nice and neatly so once after you've heating it up for like five minutes you need to apply some vegetable oil on it the essence of this is so that the waffle will not stick on the um waffle maker machine or something do you understand so that's the essence of adding oil you can use margarine or salted butter but for me i feel like oil is the best and that's what i use so i don't think there's any point of me wasting my margarine or, or my unsalted butter so oil works fine okay so use your silicone brush to use your silicone brush to apply the vegetable oil and when you're done you start pouring your waffle the butter on the waffle maker i think this one takes like five minutes to get done and i think it all depends on your waffle maker machine 
um and some things like two minutes three minutes some ten minutes it all depends on the type of waffle maker you have so um this recipe actually gave me like four i think four to five waffle yeah i think four waffle yes this particular recipe gave me for gave me four waffles so when i'm done i had to you know allow it to cook for like five to ten minutes and this is it here this is the outcome of the first set that you can see how lovely it is very very hot guys like it was literally hot see it came out nice if you don't apply oil on your waffle maker trust me it will not come out it will be tearing like it's gonna stick on the maker and then it will just be tearing it will not give you a nice look like this one so i'm done with this set i'm gonna put it on the, on the plate and then finish up the remaining process of the butter okay so um, I'm sure you guys are getting value or getting value for this video. Once again, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. Like my video and share this video to your friends, to your different social media platform. Yeah, so that your friends can also, <laughs> can also subscribe to my channel as well. So I really love this waffle. I love the outcome. It's so fluffy, guys. And you can use it to serve your guests. You can use it as serve as like it's perfect for ice cream yeah even greek you got too caramel sauce you know yeah so the green light there means that once the green light is showing it means that the waffle is ready okay so i don't know how your waffle maker is but for my own once the green light is showing it means that the waffle is ready okay so it's pretty hot like it's really really hot my hand was my fingers almost got burnt see how clean it came out so this is also what adding or applying vegetable oil on the waffle maker so that it will not stick on it so you see how clean it came out mm. guys this is so yummy like looking at it alone safe you just feel like devouring it it's so nice guys so that's the waffle maker <laughs> sorry that's the waffle uh with id just in this video you can see how clean lovely fluffy and beautiful it is so you can top with sherry anything at all you can you know, eat it with anything that you feel like ice cream fillings you know anything at all strawberries you can connect with the strawberries as well so but in this video i use sherries okay and in this video i also used um i think i used topping sauce for this video yes I think I love it with topping sauce. I love it with. I have to use chocolate topping sauce because I'm really selective about the topping sauce I want to use. So I use um, chocolate, or you can also use strawberry or any type of available flavored topping sauce you have. But I love chocolate, so I had to use it for this waffle. And trust me, guys, it's so so yummy. Ah, in fact, I kept the menu one for my kids because the moment my son saw it, he was like, "Mommy, I want to eat." <laughs> You can see how you'll be moist and looking so lush ah guys i can't wait for tomorrow morning to come so that i can devote the menu to <laughs> i gave my employee one i took one and the menu two i came back home with it so i can give it to my children because they also love our full as well so guys um that's all about in this video please if you enjoy watching this video kindly give it a thumbs up guys subscribe to my channel guys please 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 subscribe to my channel i have other videos whereby you can always watch i have good recipes on my videos whereby i can also help your business your baking business if you stay at home mom the recipes on my channel can always help you so guys feel free to check out my channel and watch the videos that are there so guys thank you so much for watching please once again guys subscribe to my channel and also like this video drop a nice comments as well also when you try this recipe can you share your feedback to me as well because this recipe is very very my signature recipe guys this is my signature recipe so guys once again thank you so much for watching have an amazing time while learning thank you hey guys so um i want to taste <laughs> i want to taste my waffle right now mm. 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 This is so delicious, like, mmm, mmm, I need to make this, guys, like, you guys need to taste this, you need to try this recipe, 
yes i said swimming to fight this recipe so it's so yummy like i'm not really a fan of raw food but you see this particular recipe is the best this is what i used to serve my clients whenever i go for dessert catering so i want you to try this recipe and uh, send me your feedback okay ah yummy okay if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you like my video and drop a nice comment okay thank you guys